G'day everyone, today is a great day for LEGO Robotics because now that Spike Prime and the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor sets have come out, we're going to do a comparison to see which version is right for you. So Spike Prime was released in 2019 as a LEGO Education Robotics Kit. It is designed with schools in mind by making parts easier to sort in sturdy trays and boxes. The kit includes an element card that describes how to organize the pieces and stickers for each section to help kids find the pieces easily. Mindstorm's Robot Inventor, by contrast, is a retail set. It is released in 2020, replacing the previous Mindstorm's EV3 set that was released in 2013. It just comes in a box with elements in bags, which makes sorting rather difficult, but they do suggest a way to sort the pieces on the inside of the box, which is useful until you decide to move your box around. So the most obvious difference between these two sets is the colour scheme. So while Spike Prime uses bright yellows and sky blues like Fall Guys, uh, the Mindstorm's Robot Inventor set uses muted greys and teals like Among Us. Now when it comes to robotics, colour doesn't really really matter, but if you were just starting out with robotics then I would guess that the Spike Prime set is geared more towards the younger kids, whereas the Robot Inventor set is aimed towards the older ones. Both sets use the same hub that has six input and output ports. The hubs also have a built-in three-axis accelerometer or gyro. The hubs both use the same rechargeable battery that can be charged by USB. The Spike Prime software has multiple projects and units designed for school lessons, where models are meant to be assembled and disassembled quite regularly, while the Mindstorm software has much more larger projects. They can build on top of each other for more play and challenge tasks. Both of these sets can access either of these apps and uh, both can be programmed using Scratch 3 or Python. The motors and sensors from each set are compatible with each other, but the quantities are different. The Spike Prime set comes with two medium motors, one large motor, one color sensor, one distance sensor, and one force sensor. While the Inventor set has four medium motors, no large motors, one color sensor, one distance sensor, and no force sensors. So in summary, the Spike Prime set has an extra force sensor, but the Mindstorm's Robot Inventor set has an extra motor. In Australia, the Spike Prime set sells for $550, and the Mindstorm's Robot Inventor set sells for almost exactly the same price, although you can probably find a cheaper deal by shopping around at the department stores. The surprising thing is, although both sets are almost identical in price, the Spike Prime set has 528 pieces, while the Inventor set has a whopping 949 pieces. Although without the force sensor and the extra large motor and um, uh, some parts variations, the Robot Inventor set can't actually build all the models from the Spike Prime software. And that leaves the question, which version is the right one for you? Well, if you're looking purely at the numbers, then the Robot Inventor set is probably the best value because mainly of the number of parts. However, if you're a home educator or a school, then uh, the number of parts may not be exactly what you need. Um, the Spike Prime set has all the different motors and all the different sensors available and uh, that offers more learning opportunities. Spike Prime also comes in a much more organized format with its trays and its tubs and uh, the stickers make it really easy for kids to assemble and disassemble robots really efficiently. However, if you're a robot enthusiast and you're looking at building bigger and more complicated robots, then the Mindstorm's Robot Inventor Set is probably a better solution for you. You can always buy the motors and sensors separately, and all you'll have to do is find a good way to organize the pieces. And that's it from me. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you like and subscribe, and if you still can't decide, then maybe these robots can make a decision for you with a dance-off. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.